Hi, Tom Alsop here from TPATennis.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between hitting a solid, regular volley and a drop volley, and talk about what to look for when trying to execute these two different shots. So as you watch me alternate between hitting a solid volley deep and a drop volley here, the difference is when I'm hitting the solid volley, I am trying to win that collision between the racket and the ball. So there's very little deviation with the racket. If you were to take the ball out of the video with some like CGI kind of stuff, you would barely see the racket move. I am really winning that collision there. One thing I try and ask people to do sometimes is to make sure that the take back and the follow through is roughly the same distance from the contact point. And it'd be very similar to if you were learning how to punch when they teach you how to punch through the target rather than stopping when you get there or starting too close to the target. So you want to go right through that hit and really win that collision. Now if you're hitting a drop volley, you want the ball to win the collision. You want to have soft hands, literally soft hands, to where as the ball impacts the racket, it wins that collision and just knocks the hand back a little bit and allows you to absorb the impact and absorb the take the pace off of the ball so it's not going to go as far. Now if you add a little bit of spin to that, that's going to allow you to feel the ball a little bit more and also take the pace off it maybe a little bit easier but also when the ball bounces it's going to check and it's not going to bounce on towards you, towards your opponent. One exercise that I really recommend is to have one person on the service line hitting ground strokes and the volleyer to be trying to put those volleys back into the box. In order to do that, depending on how hard the ball is hit at you, you're going to have to really work on that feel, absorb the impact and just finesse that ball back into the box and it's far more difficult than it looks. Obviously the better you get, the harder that person can start hitting ground strokes at you. But again, it's easier to be rigid and have that ball fly off the racket. It's quite difficult to actually do this skill to absorb the impact and really develop that feel for the shot. 